Alright, welcome to the video. You know, I'm just going to take you guys through my diet, what I eat now, a little bit of tips and tricks, what I've used over the years, um, things I like, things I didn't like, and um, when are you cracking on it? Because that's most of it. Yeah, you know, there's videos out everywhere, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. As long as you're training intense, you're going to see a change in your body, but how you're fueling it is, is vital. It's vital. So, we're going to go through, I'll show you guys kind of what I do, and um, hopefully you can take away a thing or two. Cam's coming with me today. We're going to film a little bit in the grocery store, even though we're not supposed to. So, let me grab my hoodie. Let's get kicked out, boy. <laughs> oh, that literally blends in. We gotta go to the grocery store because I'll show you what I got right now. It's not a lot. We've been holding off to do this video. There we go. So I've been holding off to this video, or holding off grocery shopping instead of this video. But um, yeah, it's not much. Of course, the supplements. I do have a supplement video, but um, I'm gonna focus on food. Food's important. Supplements are a great thing to do in addition to food, but. Who's important? So we gotta go grocery shopping. The fridge looks sad. I'm not even gonna open the fridge. <laughs> it's too cold, man. Necessity. It's an Akron, Akron necessity, and then if you want to be healthy, you, you got a snack. I mean, if you're not yeah. snacking, you're not really looking. Welcome. Please scan your badge card to begin your transaction. Be surprised. relatively lean, decently cheap. That's a couple meals right there. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been pretty lazy with the rice. So I get these like little preset rice packages. Um, it doesn't taste like plastic, so I like them. And they're easy, you throw them in the microwave for like two minutes. I'll show you guys how I use that tomorrow. A little bit of cheese, it's my favorite. Mexican blend, low fat. Usually throw that on my eggs in the morning, maybe throw it on some beef. And then uh, avocado, I haven't picked up, this is like as vegetable-y as I get. Cause I'm sad with my vegetables. These are my vegetables. I'll show you tomorrow. I should eat them, but I just get like some frozen stuff. I really, I just don't like eating vegetables. I take a multivitamin. I eat them sometimes, but uh, this is my staple, almond milk. So I don't do regular dairy, just cause of loading. I uh, love almond milk for protein shakes. Just a glass in the morning, like a little bit of vanilla flavor. It's excellent, excellent flavor. Simple carbs, it's easy. It's good for like post workout. Uh, it was like, I wanted the Honey Nut Cheerios, but they didn't have them, so I got this. The big bag is usually on sale. 
And then, uh, oh, we got our flavor. We got our flavor. If you don't know about these, you're really missing out. So I get the baked ones just to justify to say I'm healthy. Oh, but these, man, that's the real deal. Dude, do a taste test. I'll see you in the morning. Pretty simple for breakfast. I just woke up. Get the first meal in. It's important. Um, I keep it basic. I usually do some oats. So I'll do a cup of cup of this dry. Uh, mix it in with a little bit of almond milk. I'll show you how I make that. And then uh, we got our eggs. Really eat like six or seven of these. Um, I only go. So I'll go. So if I eat six, I might go three whole uh, with the yolk and the egg white, and then I'm gonna add another three, which is the egg white. Keep it a little more lean in terms of the protein to fat ratio. And uh, once I whip up the meal, I'll show you guys the macros, everything that's in it. Yeah, and I'll wake up. So before I throw those eggs on, Got the pan with some pan. Honestly, it's, it's a it's a low key necessity because um, like rather than using butter, I don't like a heavy amount of oil. I spread a little bit of this on really don't even even when I did track religiously. Like you'll see me now. I don't I don't track everything I eat. It's kind of intuitive at this point. When I did track religiously, I wouldn't even put this in. Um, I mean zero calories. I'm using maybe one or two servings at most. Uh, but it's good. Don't stick. Adds a little bit of flavor. This one is like the regular pan with olive oil infused. So real, real big key. All right, we got that oatmeal. Usually, most mornings I get, I get a little bougie with it. I bring out the cutting board. Um, I'll throw in some cinnamon and apples. Sometimes I have blueberries. It's real good. Strawberries. That's about it. I don't go crazy on my fruits. It pretty much stays with that. Sometimes bananas though. Terrible at cutting fruit. It's a disaster. Got I don't know if we're focused or not. But um just some apple cinnamon oatmeal, real plain, real simple, real effective. Put a little pepper on them. I don't really do the salt. Um yeah, everybody like three salt about soaking them. Honestly, it's not that much which gonna make a difference. I just don't like salt in my eggs. So instead, I do some pepper, and then we got the cheese we picked up yesterday. Reduced fat, Mexican blend. I don't know what makes it Mexican, but it's good. Yeah, but that's it, that's it. And then, so if you saw, I threw in some almond milk, I might pop the macros up on the bottom of the screen. Sometimes I'll throw in a yogurt with this, but I'm gonna save the yogurts. So a little bit of almond milk and water, make the oats, throw them in the microwave. Two minutes, throw in some cinnamon, some apple, and then we got our eggs. So that's six eggs, three whole eggs, and then three eggs with just the white. Uh, so it's a little bit higher protein, a little bit less fat. Throw some cheese on top, a little bit of pepper, and that's it. It's simple, I gotta eat this. Uh, but really, for the most part, you know, there's some days I'll, I'll substitute the protein, the eggs for a different protein in the morning, but for the most part, that's that's been every morning, majority of the past three years. Delicious, you know? You know? Alright, so what I'm about to do is get in the protein bar. <clears throat> so I have my breakfast. It's a little bit after it. One of my favorites. I know EHP doesn't have protein bars, so I go pure protein, pretty cheap and good. There it is. Pretty good macros. Alright, I forgot to describe all the vitamins, everything I take. Um, so I'll go through real quick. I usually have my breakfast just so I remember to get them in in the morning. Um, first thing, probiotic helps with digestive health. 
um, especially if you're eating a high protein diet. It's important to keep that bacteria in there healthy at a good number. That's what actually digests your food. The second is glucosamine. So if you heard of like fish oil, it essentially does the same thing. It'll lubricate your joints. Uh, just so I'm not all rusty, you know. A little bit of zinc. Um, once in a while, I'll take these. Some days I do, some days I don't. It's really more for immune health. Um, so if I feel like I'm gonna get sick, that's my little go to. Uh, so I don't take anything today. G3. I live in Ohio, man. There's no sun. Evan knows there's no sun. <laughs> so like, this is essential. Uh, getting me a vitamin D. I take two of these bad boys. Both are so each one's a thousand. I use, um, but it helps because like who knows? We might not see the sun for another three weeks. <laughs> and the last thing, last thing I take uh, EHPs. I just got on these. Um, you know your daily vitamin. That's your insurance policy. Because you guys know I stay not eating enough veggies. Um, but I still still eat your vegetables. But I have this in addition to getting those micronutrients throughout the day. So I'm about to. Some of these pills, man. Some of these pills are huge. Let's wow. see. Let's see how big they are. That's. That's a decent size. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I got my two probiotics. This is the biggest one. Is the EHP, the multivitamin. <laughs> it's the big daddy. <laughs> D3s. These are little guys. And then um, the cushion. Usually I don't know, like once in a while I choke. Once Down a hatch. Smooth, smooth. Alright, we going? Rolling. Oh, we rolling. Alright, so we just got back from the gym. He and I hit a, uh, who we hit? We hit back, back and shoulders. Back and shoulders. It's pretty smooth and I'm exhausted. So, normally I won't eat. I just can't eat like a lot of food right after I lift. So normally I just have like a protein shake bowl of cereal. So I'll show you guys what I do with that. Um, I actually do med sometimes I'll measure my cereal. I really do. Just because that's something I know personally. It's a simple carb. It's gonna digest quickly, but I know this is something I'll overeat like very easily. So normally I go two cups, so two of these, and then I'll always do that with my almond milk. I just pour that in. Because you can't get this. I always have with a protein shake, you can't let this get soggy because soggy cereal is just nasty. So I'll make my protein shake first before I have that. But we're gonna go with our creatine. And I'll wait protein. So we're gonna grab these, make a killer shake. I'm gonna show you how you make a really good shake too, so it doesn't actually taste bad. It's smooth. So the first thing you gotta do, is a little bit of a hassle, but if you have bananas, freeze them, especially if they are about to go bad, you're not gonna eat them. Freeze them because they taste amazing uh, for shakes. <laughs> it's a hassle, but it's worth it. You just like running under some water sometimes. So we got a banana in there. So it really tastes like a smoothie. So that's frozen. So instead of ice cubes, ice cubes just don't do it. A little bit of almond milk. I just eyeball that. Um, we'll call that a quarter of a cup. Don't make your whole life just about food. Because it shouldn't be. You should be able to enjoy your life. Focus on the things that are important. And when it comes to eating healthy, Make it easy. So that was the whey protein. We got our creatine. If you can see it, the create. Create some gains, you know? Scoop of that. Right, we got approximately a tablespoon. Okay, so it's vanilla flavored protein, banana peanut butter. Two scoops of rice crispies. And it's plain cereal, so this is really low sugar. And once again, I eyeball the almond milk, and then I usually call that a cup of almond milk between the shake and, and the cereal. I don't get ultra specific with things. I used to really measure it out. You can if you want to really track your macros, and that's okay. It's whatever is most convenient for you. For me, I've been doing it long enough. I kind of know. So we got my shake. We got my cereal. And that's all you need. <laughs> Damn, the down that down line is pretty. Hey, go ahead. Okay. Hey, here we go. VT. Those like nutrition graphs of like the green, the wheat, 
your milk, your dairy, you know. You mean on my plate? You don't know what on my plate? No, it, it's it's a graph, bro. The food pyramid? Yes. But I'm talking about the graph, you know, where it shows like your wheats, your milks, I mean your dairy, your fucking... It's called a bell curve. Look it up. I was an engineer. I was an engineer. It's an engineer. It's an engineer. Now we take the rice. I think we got our beef, our rice, our veggies. And I might even sprinkle some cheese on it, but I probably won't. But the day went fast. I had to get my last meal going, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm trying to cook it, even though it's like 1 a.m. I'm gonna cook it for you, show you how to make it. I'm also gonna have this protein bar. And we're gonna do another rice. I have to cook the chicken. So you remember, this is a dark meat chicken I got from the store last night. Yeah, a little bit higher in fat. That's okay. It's a little bit source of protein. So I'll throw some olive oil on. But honestly, yeah, I'm cooking this and making it for the video, sure. Um, but in reality, this is what it takes. A lot of nights, I'll get back late. Um, I don't know, things, people get busy, get busy. It's like, damn, I don't want to cook food. That's what it takes sometimes. It's the moments where it's like, man, I could just go to bed, kick it, do whatever. But uh, I know I need to get in this last meal. So yeah, if you notice, I don't meal prep a whole lot. There's a couple things I'll prep, like beef, chicken. So mainly my meats, I meal prep. But the rest, I kind of make on the spot. Like every morning, I make my breakfast. But yeah, really, I try to cook a lot of things because I don't flavor it a whole lot, so I like it to be fresh. It makes it taste a little better. You just gotta find what works for you. I know guys who, and girls, whoever, who say, all right, every Sunday I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna meal prep everything for the whole week. That's cool. That doesn't work for me because I let it sit in the fridge and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm not eating that because it would just get stale in my mind. Um, even though I could cook the same meals and then eat them, it's weird. It's just how my mind works. You just gotta find what works for you. Do it, own it. Be unique, be yourself, enjoy it, because everything is a journey. Some late night knowledge that won't end for you. So the moment you've been waiting for, the secret is this right here. Oh, I'm literally out of it. You know, all that sucks. All right, so I just saw the pepper. Well, I'm going to show you the secret, but it's just going to suck for me because I can't actually use it, so it's not going to taste good. But this is it right here. I have a little bit left. I might be able to make it stretch, but it's um perfect pinch salad seasoning. Supreme. Salad Supreme seasoning. Perfect pinch. It's like red, if you can see it. Not the actual cap, but the actual seasoning is kind of like this reddish color. It smells good, too. We're a little thumb for spices. If it smells good, too, it probably is going to taste good. Because smell makes up a lot of our sense of taste. But you guys know that. Because you're smart. You're educated. So, alright. So the oven's ready. We're about to put this in for like, I usually do 45 minutes. Like I said, it's 425. So, alright. So it's been time inside the oven. Um, I'm a bit of a mess. I almost fell asleep. It is now. Almost 2.30. That's it. We got some avocado, the rice, our chicken. Put the macros here since I'm literally falling asleep talking to you guys. It's really been my diet consistently for the last three years. I think that's helped me make the transformation I did make. Um, it's just consistency. Like it's, it's not crazy, it's not a crazy, crazy strict diet. And things progressively got more strict. You know, I didn't always eat rice. At the beginning, it was making that step from, okay, I'm eating white bread, now I eat whole wheat and like that grainy seed bread. It's like, okay, make those little steps and those like little increments of improvement because that's what leads up to making it a lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, you don't want, you know, I don't want you to take my diet and be like, okay, I don't diet at all. I'm about to eat rice and chicken and beef every meal like no don't do that but take you know take some little things be like oh you know i normally put butter in my eggs in the morning i'm just gonna swap that out for well that it's all about taking small steps not making any big jumps at all and uh, 
those little improvements are what make it lasting, you know, because once you create that lifestyle, it's, you don't even think about it. Like for me, you know, I could do this and I don't really think too much. I don't have to put too much thought and time and effort into it. You know, obviously if I was competing for a show or something, I have to measure things out. I don't have to do that right now. Um, yeah, don't, don't jump into anything, baby steps, but um, that's my diet.